Hello everyone, I'm Mary Hardy. I'm an Associate Professor and I teach in the Bachelor of Building Design Management as well as the Bachelor of Construction Management. I've been doing this for quite a long time and I'm happy to answer any questions later about building design or indeed about construction management. The Building Design Management Program enables students to pursue a career in the construction industry working primarily on the design side of projects, but as well as that, they might work on resolving design conflicts. So they might work at any stage of the building process in terms of concept through to delivery. And there's several different roles you might have in the industry um, in terms of uh, areas of specialisation. Most students who study building design management are full time, so they take four years to complete the program. But it is possible to do the program part time if, for example, you have other commitments like work or family, etc. So it is possible to do it part time. Most people do it full time and just take a little bit longer if they need it at a particular stage in their program. Well, there are basically four areas of study that we look at within the program. So they consist of design, economics and technology. And there are sub areas within uh, those categories that you can specialise in. Um, in Australia, as you may know, the majority of buildings are produced through the design and construct system. Uh, one company offers a package deal to design, build and deliver the project. So that's the area where most of our graduates from building design management end up. We allow for a flexible timetable so that you are able to work while you're studying. And we encourage students to get a job while they're studying rather than wait till they graduate. We think that combines practical knowledge with the theoretical and academic knowledge that we give you. In this program, we encourage you to be a generalist. That is, you're doing units or subjects that relate to the arts as well as the sciences. You're doing words as well as numbers. Uh, and we think that that creates a, a well-rounded individual who can seek employment in lots of areas. There are lots of different careers in building design management. Um, you can be someone who specialises in the concept area, in the designing side of things. And some building designers work for themselves and have their own small practice. Others work for builders or for designers or for um, a mixture of both. Specifically, a construction design manager probably works for a larger builder and they are there to organise and, and uh, coordinate different um, different specialties within the industry and specifically to solve problems. If, you, if your aim eventually is to be an architect, you can start in building design management and move on to an architectural master's um, later on uh, and eventually become a registered architect. We have admission pathways that are organised for entry into the Bachelor of Building Design Management. One is through the college, which is a part of Western Sydney University. If you don't make the ATAR cutoff for the program, you can go through the college, you do the first year there, plus a few extra units, uh, and then you transfer directly into the second year of the program at the university. Similarly, if you've already studied building design at TAFE and done a diploma there, uh, we would give you advanced standing. Uh, that is, you'd get some exemptions for some units in the first year of the program and you wouldn't have to do them. So there are several ways to get into the program um, and we're very flexible in terms of how you progress and how you move through the program. Hello everyone, I'm Sepani Sena Ratna, Director of Academic Programs for Undergraduate Construction Management here at Western Sydney. Uh, so construction management has been 
a very long established program that has attracted many students. And in fact, it's currently the largest CM program in Australia. So we aim to deliver future managers for the construction industry in the 21st century. It's a full-time four-year program that you could opt to also take part-time. Uh, and it's offered in two campuses, Parramatta South and Penrith campuses. Uh, so all students will receive an honors degree. Uh, in the final year, they can choose uh, research units, either to take project research path or the thesis research path. And in the program, we have eight electives that you can choose in your second and the third year. Uh, so you can choose your electives in such a way that you could specialize either in building surveying or quantity surveying. Uh, so there's a great mix of theory and practical knowledge. Uh, uh, and there's many units that are work integrated enabled. And in the final year, we have two capstone units that captures uh, and integrate our existing knowledge and experience into real life construction projects. So this is how the course structure looks like in construction management uh, how, and how it would be spread in the four years with two main semesters, autumn and spring. Uh, and these core units are mostly uh, offered in the first year and in the second and third year you can choose eight electives and the final year is having the research units and the capstone units. So all units uh, are, can be grouped under three main areas or we call them pillars uh, of uh, construction management. Uh, so there would be construction economics units, construction law related units, construction technology and management. So why you should choose construction management at Western Sydney University? It's uniquely focused for uh, Western Sydney region and it's a very well established program with a very high demand and uh, excellent employment opportunities. Uh, we have proven records of high employability and high employer satisfaction. This program is designed to address uh, current and future industrial needs and one of the key features is that 1,200 hours of practical uh, work experience requirement uh, where students are required to undertake uh, some work while they're studying at the university. So as Mary Hardy said, this is enabled by flexible timetables where we try at, at our best to make uh, a two-day two timetable for you. Uh, so there's a number of opportunities to obtain cadet chips in the industry and we would also be helping students uh, who need assistance in finding any, any opportunities. So one good thing about this uh, uh, program is it opens up many career options in the construction industry for graduates uh, that could range from construction manager to project manager, estimator, and a building survey uh, as listed in this uh, slide here. Our course has received recognition from key professional organizations such as Australian Institute of Builders, Australian Institute of Quantity Surveys, and we recently received international recognition uh, from Chartered Institute of Builders in UK. So you can expand your options uh, from uh, after enrolling into this program. If you wish to uh, combine it, this to a double degree, we have uh, the construction, uh, Bachelor of Construction Management Studies uh, with Bachelor of Laws that is, uh, can, uh, that is offered by School of Law. Move to the industry soon or to do a postgraduate study, you can uh, get to the, you can graduate with the three-year program that's Bachelor of Construction Technology. And there's also options to switch between uh, the building design management program that Mary Hardy was uh, presenting uh, uh, and the construction management of construction technology programs.
so let me stop with this final note. Uh, so this program would take you to a very rewarding career in construction. So thank you very much and we look forward to seeing you at Western Sydney.